Hey YouTube, so we're back for our ninth Unity tutorial and making our awesome game. And since last tutorial, we made the following game. We had coins, which I will explain why I have more in a minute. Um, we also have fire, move around, we have characters with destroy, blah, 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 blah. If you watch the other tutorials, you basically know what we have, so yeah. Um, I did actually do this tutorial before. But silly me, I didn't turn my mic on, which I really hope it's on now. And because I turned my speakers off, so I can't like hear myself talking because it puts me off. Well, yeah, I kind of did a tutorial for nothing. But I think I managed to erase everything I did. Like, because we're, all we're going to do is add some more sounds to the game. So, like, when you fire, it shouts something. And when you collect a coin, it does something. Yeah. <coughs> so what we did is well what I did do is add the sounds to it so when you collect the coin or fire it plays the sound and I added more coins in so we could hear it constantly but then I kind of remembered I didn't do my mic so I got rid of it but kept the coins in but it should still work the same so to start I f thought that some cool sounds what we could have would be um, when our character clicks the co <coughs> coin it like does a Mario ping sound thingy or something so I found that on the online which I'll show in a minute and then I think I tried searching everywhere for that Shao Kahn Kabunga or Kabunga or whatever he says off of the latest Mortal Kombat game Mortal Kombat um, 9 um, but I couldn't find it anywhere so I just settled for something else and settled for the Falcon Bunch, yeah, so, these are royalty f f f three, royalty free sounds, I hope, but, yeah, you can just download them and use them, so the Falcon Punch sounds like this, and that's the one I'm going to use in, so, <coughs> I've already downloaded this and stuck it into our game, but all you simply do is right click it, save target as, and save it somewhere, and, um, for the Mario sound, I found this really cool website, and it's like got loads of different Marios. So for the coin sound, I think of the classic coin, which is this. Would be cool, so yeah. Um, to download that one, you right click it, save link as, or save target as, depending on what you're on. And then, so once they've downloaded, save pause in the video, all you do is show in Explorer here. Make a new folder called Sounds and stick it in. So I have my coin and my falcon. So it's simple as that. To add the sounds to the actual scripts are really simple as well. So in the scripts, we will go into our uh, money collection script. Yeah. <coughs> and so whenever we collect the a money or an object, what well, we want this object to be collected, basically. Yeah. We want to play this sound. So easiest way to do this is to actually do it when it actually hits it. So it, at the moment it adds to our money, prints how much money we have, then destroys the object. So I'm thinking if we just stick it here, like underneath the player's money, so plus the money, play the sound, then do it, but it'll do it so fast you won't see it, but you'll definitely be able to hear it. So this is really simple. So first we type in audio dot capital S dot bracket bracket semicolon so that'll stop any running audio what's playing on the main character yeah is it might not be oh right, let me just check what's this attached to yeah so our collection is attached to that <coughs> so if there's another sound playing on our audio source such as the falcon punch then it'll stop that audio and then we'll play ours so we're not overlapping audios and creating loads of errors. So if you haven't already, I don't know if we did or not. So in our character, um, go to component, audio, audio source and add one to there. Like that. And then just drag on one of the sounds. Any sound, it doesn't really matter because we're going to change it between. So I just drag on the coin collect. I'm guessing that's from the other tutorial because I don't know why we would have put that there for anything else but yeah so untick play on a for, on a wake get rid of that one because that'll play it as soon as the object's created play the sound so we we'll like have 15 different coins playing at once we don't want that and also if you click on your sounds you can change it from <coughs> 
3D sound or 2D sound. 3D sound is so like if your objects, uh, easiest way to do it. If your character's here and the objects here and the sounds played here, you will hear it from your left speaker slash headphone. And if you've got surround sound, you'd hear it better, obviously. But yeah, and if you untick 3D sound, so it's 2D sound, you'll hear it through both speakers as if it's right in front of you or on top of you, whichever one. So I've just unticked both of them. Make sure you click apply, and that's that simply done. So to play the actual audio, we type audio below the audio stop audio dot play one shot call capitals open bracket and then we will want to create a new variable which will store our audio but we'll simply call it coin collect like so so we'll copy this variable name so we don't mess it up underneath pragma strict var coin collect like colon cap audio clip all capitals like so so that basically creates a new variable called coin collect which is an audio sample or audio clip and then when we collect the money it pluses 10 to our money stops any running audio play only once so play one audio play the audio once then stop don't keep playing it and playing it and playing it and playing it over and over again because then it actually plays it that fast that the audio doesn't play full stop <laughs> So then the audio we want to play is coin collect, then carry on as normal. So um, if we go back to our character, find our collection script and uh, drag the coin collect audio on, that's something I always forget to always drag the audio on. And I'm sat there for ages wondering why it's not working. And it just turns out that we forgot that one, forgot to equip it. So um, now let's test it. I really hope this works because I can't hear it. Ah. Ding. If you can hear that, ding, ding, that should work. I'm just going to turn my speakers on. There, see if it works. Yay! Turn the speakers back off because uh, then it plays my voice otherwise. I know I could just disable it, but I really don't want to. So, yeah, so that one's done. So now whenever you collect a coin, it goes ding, ding. And if you've equipped it into a prefab, such as here, if you just dragged it, you could drag 50 coins down and they'd all play it without having to equip every single one. So, that's good. And now we're going to do our player fire one. So, open up the player fire script, which is not there, not there, in player fire, in scripts. And then we will create a new variable and call it fire sound. It's so like, call it whatever you like, but... And then we'll create it as an audio clip again. <coughs> and then, so we have, when we press, when the key E is released upwards, um, create the new bullet wherever, add force to the bullet, but underneath the force we want to stop all audio. Pretty much, you could pretty much just copy it and change it a little bit. So like, copy from play one shot and stop, then paste it into here, it's worth the exact same. But you'll have to just change the fire sound to coin collector there. Done. We've just done sound in Unity. It's so simple. We could even do footsteps later if we like that. I don't know. And speakers back on again. Like that. And there we go. Made the mistake again. We forgot to equip the audio. So if we scroll down to fire, play a fire. And close up these so we can actually see. Audio clip. Falcon punch to fire sound. There we go. Now I've pressed fire. Punch. Of course you could get something better than that. And like. Yeah. So we can. Ding. You can do it. If we didn't put play that. Put that audio stop there so if we just tag that out you do tap notes like just press two slashes and if it goes green it's noted that it won't count it it'll just be like developer notes so if you like put one here if import is up e or something and it won't count it so it's just so if you pass down on something and if we untick maximize so i can show yeah if we bash e now it gets very loud so um, we we want to keep that audio stop in, 
you could equip it to other objects and make it do like make the actual coin say it but I prefer the like so the player can hear it um, also if you look at the audio source here coin collect if I press E doesn't change but it still says it because it does it that fast so ding ding and yes you can like collect it and press E at the same time but I doubt you'd be able to do it that well so it just stops the other audio so yeah um, pretty much a short tutorial for something so easily so you won't struggle with doing that and um, yeah so that's that one done so for next time I'm thinking we like make our characters shoot at us like we'll make them rotate and follow us and like shoot at us so we can take damage because then using that we could like put a health system into our game so if we die we load a new level you lose blah 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 do you want to retry yes respawn all good so yeah seems easy enough and should be lots of fun so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and see you later